This tutorial covers the basics of the AutoCAD 2010 ribbon. The ribbon is a very versatile interface and it's well worth getting to know it. The first thing we need to know is what all the various parts are called. The ribbon itself lives just below the quick access toolbar and the drawing title bar and it's composed of a number of tabs. The home tab is current at the moment but there are other tabs such as insert, annotate, parametric, view and so on. Each tab is arranged into a number of panels. For example the home tab which has all the most frequently used commands has the draw, modify, layers, annotation, block and so on panels. So the ribbon is composed of a number of tabs and each tab is divided into a number of panels. Each panel is thematic so that for example the draw commands live on the draw panel, modify commands live on the modify panel and so on. Now you'll notice that each of the panel titles has a little down arrow there and as you've just seen if I click on the title the little down arrow is telling us that we're going to get a flyout and the flyout shows uh, the less frequently used commands in that panel. You'll also notice that as I move my cursor away from the panel as it's unfolded it pops back up again. Now sometimes it might be convenient to have that panel uh, unfolded while you're working and you can do that by clicking on the panel title and then just clicking on the little pin icon there. That pins that panel out so that I have one click access to any of the tools which were otherwise hidden when the panel was folded up. To unpin a panel just click on the pin again and when I move my cursor away the panel rolls up. All the panels work in the same way so the modify panel when it, come, when it rolls out looks like that. I can pin that there and then when I want it to roll up again I can unpin it like that. Now although all the panels live on their relevant tab on the ribbon they can actually be torn off. So for example if I wanted to tear off the modify tab I can just click on the panel title and drag it into the drawing area like that and you'll see that what we get is a floating panel and just like the panels on the ribbon the floating panel has a flyout so I can still access those other commands which uh, can't otherwise be seen. Now by default the panel flies out to uh, the right but you'll notice that if I mouse over the panel I get two little borders one on the left and one on the right. Either one can be used for clicking and dragging and moving the panel to a different part of the drawing area. The border on the right you'll notice has two small icons at the top. The, one, the lower one is called toggle orientation and I can use that to change the flyout orientation of the panel from horizontal to vertical. So now when I click on the down arrow there I fly out to the bottom rather than to the side. Going back again and back and forth like that. Now the beauty of this system is that you can have the panel located anywhere you like within the drawing area uh, and that may be more convenient if you're working in a particular part of the drawing. You can send the panel back home anytime you like to the, uh, to the uh, tab just by clicking the return panels to ribbon button like that and you'll see the modify panel now is sent back to the home tab on the ribbon. Now the ribbon itself can be displayed in one of three different ways and you can do this by using this little button up here. By default the ribbon is displayed in its entirety but this little button here can be used as a three-way toggle to change the way the uh, ribbon is displayed. The first time I click on this we'll get the uh, ribbon to minimize to panel titles. Clicking on there shows us just the panel titles. We also of course can see the tab titles here as well but this is a way of showing just the panels one at a time. 
that. And notice that in each case the panel is fully expanded. Now if we toggle this or click this switch again we minimize two tabs. So this time we lose the panel titles and we see only the tab titles. And I can display any one of those tabs just by clicking on it like that. And then when I move my cursor away from the ribbon, the tab folds up again like that. Now these two options can be very useful if you're working with very limited screen space. Perhaps you're working on a laptop or a monitor with low resolution and you need to maximize your workspace.